it's Joe here, and I'm in Sumy, Ukraine. Let me ask you, have you seen all the pictures of the beautiful, gorgeous, younger Ukrainian and Russian women on the internet? You know, the dating sites, the marriage agency, the mail order bride sites, and thought, you know, this industry is just one big fraud and scam from beginning to end. There's no way I'm going there. Or are you maybe like I was before I came to the Ukraine? Are you wondering, is it maybe possible? Is it possible that there's a sliver of truth to this mail order bride or marriage agency business in Ukraine and Russia, which is a billion dollar a year business, by the way? Is it possible, you might be wondering, that your other half, a beautiful, younger, amazingly smart, sophisticated Ukrainian wife could be waiting for you? Well, if you really want to know the answer to that question, then you absolutely must watch this video series right now. You see, before I came to the Ukraine, I did all the online research like you might have done and saw how ugly this industry is and all the horror stories. But I just had to come find the truth for myself. So when I came, yes, I was jaded, skeptical. Um, I went to a ton of marriage agencies. I talked to them. I, I could feel, I could see the corruption. Um, and the only way I could find to get to the real truth is by talking to tons and tons of Ukrainian women and asking them the tough questions. And that's what I'm bringing you in this video series, is answers to these really tough questions by honest, sincere Ukrainian ladies. And I know they're honest and sincere because I've known them for some time. Uh, many are married, some single, with kids, without kids. And I've actually found a few former employees of Marriage Agency, and they're going to rattle a cage and bring you the real hidden truth behind this ugly industry. You'll learn the landmines to avoid. You'll learn what's the path to find the silver lining in this industry, to find your love, your other half in the Ukraine. The reason I'm shooting this video series is so that you might avoid all the painful, costly mistakes I made before, you know, in coming to Ukraine and finding love. So enjoy. Uh, I wish you much success and happiness in your quest to find your other half to find love in Ukraine. <laughs> Hi, Natalia. How are you doing? Hello, Joe. I'm very well. What about you? <laughs> oh, excellent. Listen, I want to truly thank you for sitting down and, and uh, doing this interview with me here today. Yeah, welcome. You know, it's, it's really rare that, um, like, I'm in Sumi, now we're in Sumi, Ukraine, and that I connect with somebody uh, such, such good-hearted as you and such, so open and honest. And so... <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you're welcome, it's true. And so we've talked many times, and I, you're a married woman, and you're not looking, you've never been with an agency. Yes. So, Right. It's true. It's true. You've never it's been with true. an agency. Yeah. So I know I know you have uh, no hidden intentions, you know, uh, and no reason not to be honest with me. So you're going to be very open and honest on some yes. tough questions yes. I'm going to ask yes. you. Okay. Yes, sure. Uh, that's, you that's can ask super. me hundreds of questions. <laughs> Wonderful. That's super. So again, thank you very much. Um, I think my first question is, is us Western guys, what we want to know is, you know, this whole industry, this mm -hmm. marriage agency or unfortunately it's uh, referred to as the mail order bride industry. What do you think about this business, about this industry? Well, I think it's a very good idea for this business, but uh, if you ask me about Ukrainian business, you, uh, this I think it's terrible because it's not honest business in Ukraine. Maybe in other cities it's better, but in Sumy it's uh, not a good idea. No, why is that? Uh, why because that? a lot of marriage agency, um, at least 90%, uh, mm -hmm. they are not honest with the clients. 90% you think? Yeah, I think at wow. least 90%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are not honest with clients. How do you mean they're not honest? Can you give me uh, uh, a paint a picture? Of course. Uh, this agency, for they are looking for Western men. They, um, uh, they charge money. Mm -hmm. From this man, uh, mm -hmm. men arrive to meet with lady. They chat in too much. They, they send picture uh, like model, very beautiful lady. Mm -hmm. uh, men already too much <laughs> fall in love with this lady because she's really beautiful. Maybe she's young. Maybe she sent to him, I love you, kiss. And when he arrived to meet with this lady, like mm -hmm. one by one, mm -hmm. and uh, this agency, of course, with this lady is disappear. Wow. That's terrible. Yes. The guy's heartbroken. Yes. And we were and chatting off camera. You have a personal story uh, from yes, where you work. Yes, I have you this uh, personal story. I know this man. He's 68 years. Uh, he, it, was, it happened, sorry, one and a half months before. He Sorry? One Sorry. and a half months before. 
it's uh, have uh, these stories. Oh, oh, yeah. oh from today, yeah. uh, yes. a month and a yeah. half ago. One, one month and a half before, mm -hmm. and uh, he arrived uh, to meet with this lady because he was already too much in love with this lady. Uh, and when he arrived, uh, he uh, called for this agency and uh, he wanted to ask, where is my uh, girlfriend, where is your translator? Mm -hmm. And um, this uh, agency disappeared and no one answered and uh, this uh, phone number is fake. Wow, and what happened, uh, the, just to paint the picture, this is a man that arrived at your hotel where you were, Yeah, 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 right? I worked That's in how you hotel. met him. Yes, yes. And so he's waiting for his lady to show up yeah, and she and then didn't show up? he was very sad and he asked me, oh, why like this? I think Ukrainian is nice, but Ukraine, uh, it's not good uh, country, Sumu is not good city. He was very sad. And mm. after I said, okay, I try to help you and to found maybe some lady, maybe some lady just in case want to married with you and after I asked my husband uh, he have some lady uh, it was client in bank uh -huh. and uh, one lady he said oh yeah she is beautiful but she was really beautiful she was 41 year but she looks very nice and uh, now it's uh, like good uh, good story this uh, success uh, final story uh, because this lady already to make uh, these documents and visa to move to New Mexico. Wow, after how long they oh, they seen spend, each other? No, no, no. They spent maybe one week together oh, in Sumy. And she Sumi. was married to, ready to marry him already? She, yes. Oh. And he also, yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yes. So it looks like a happy ending. Um, maybe. <laughs> We will see. Uh -huh, that's, that's because uh, mm -hmm. two days before he came back for mm -hmm. meet with her and make some more documents. It's very difficult because uh, from move from Ukraine to Europe to Canada it's, uh, to USA, it's very difficult. Uh -huh. Well, okay. Let's maybe uh, address the hard question. That's what uh, she's 41, he's uh, 68. 68. Yes. 27 years age difference. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a big difference. That's for me, it's a big difference. What do you think? Uh, she was after him for his, uh, what he looked like. He's good looking for 68, um, good no, shape? Um, yes, he's good looking, but like uh, grandfather <laughs> for uh -huh. her. But I think she's looking uh, maybe money, maybe a good future for her son, mm -hmm. this reason. Mm -hmm. okay. But I, it's 100% not love. Maybe in future. Uh -huh. it's Just too quickly also, right? Yeah, it's One too, week. too quick.